Good afternoon. It's, it's February 15th. It's 70 degrees. You can see you got beautiful blue sky and some cockney puffy clouds. Uh, bees are really flying today. I'm trying not to point you at the hive. The top is reflecting pretty bad. Probably mess up your view. So I'm going to take that off before I put you down here. Sorry about the shaking. Yeah, I'm having trouble seeing the, see if we're counting down here. Yep, all right, sorry about that. One time I went through a whole inspection and didn't catch a thing because I didn't turn it on. So like I said, it's February 15th. Oh yeah, and the girls have been busy. They ate all their sugar brick and their their uh, pollen trays, so uh, I'll give them a new one when I get finished. and give them a little smoke. So a lot of bees moved to the top. <clears throat> Last inspection, I moved two frames that were loaded with, ne with uh, nectar and a couple capped cells, capped honey cells. I moved them up, try to get them to start putting nectar up there. See how that works when you get in here. <clears throat> All right, I'll put my veil on. <clears throat> I don't normally wear gloves, but I do wear a veil. I hate getting stung in the face. It's happened, but I don't like it. As long as they're not too bad, I don't mind it on my hands either. Not too much. All right, nothing going on there. Yeah, let's see. Oh, almost crushed a little girl. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. This frame is about a third worker size sales and two thirds drone size. So I'd rather them be stacking this with pollen. I mean, with nectar. So that's not bad. See what this one looks like. All right, now that's a good one as far as cell size. For some reason, I put it in there without having any line on it to the fishing line I put across, but do I see some hive beetles? Come on, girls. Yeah, I'm making a mess of it, but they'll fix that. They keep trying to dive in there and take care of it themselves. Okay. One right there. See some new comb on this one. Of course, this may be the one that was down in the bottom. Yeah, I think that's one they added to last week. 
And they added drone size sails here. So I'll try to leave that one up here to for nectar. It is a slight breeze today. And this frame is almost all yes, yeah, almost all worker size sails. We've got a little bit of nectar in the middle. You know, if I've got room for it, I may put that down on the bottom and then move that nectar out and set this one to the side here make sure one more time i don't see the plane this would be a good one for her to work on okay this is one i moved up it's pretty heavy <clears throat> And it's it's all drawn I mean all the uh, worker size sails but they have some pollen in here they've attached it to the bottom finally that's great look that and I did want to say there have been a lot of drones going in and out yesterday and day before I was coming out looking at them. It's hard to miss them with the way they sound flying in. What's going on here? Oh, girls. Oh, they're just getting, they're getting nectar because I smoked them. So that's fine. Yeah, this was a funky one from several years ago. And there's a lot of nectar in there. This is almost all drone cone, all drone cell size here. those two out because I'm going to check if, if it looks like I can and I can move a couple frames up to make room. Oh, those are some pretty big. Nine of the seams here are fill, filled with bees, and there's some over here. Not much on the outside here, so I'm going to see what's going on with it. Few bees festooning on the bottom. 
and maybe they're thinking about drawing out this plastic frame. Now I can't tell where they've done anything yet. There are a lot of bees on it though. And last year I did, after I melted some wax, I did recoat all of my, I have like five frames that are plastic and that's it. But I recoated them all. <clears throat> Let's see if it makes any difference. But... I think I am going to get some wax foundation and put into a couple frames just to get them started. I need some. I need some new comb. I know it's a little early because it is still getting cooler at night. This one does not have any support. Well, it does have wire support. They just haven't tied it into the bottom yet. Y'all see it? You see the. Let's try to hold this. The worker cells here, drone cells here and here, and I got a bee pinned. She didn't steam me, but. Yeah, she's still fussing. Somebody's still fussing. All right, I see larva. Just before I came out, it was sunny, but all of a sudden I came out and uh, well, she did get me. All right. Uh, I'm going to set this one back in and smoke my fingers so I don't get any more yeah. yep she got me Right on the index finger, but fairness, I squished her. All right. Let's see. <coughs> Look at all that worker brood. That's pretty. The upper part, upper, there's an arc of pollen around them. A lot of drones on here. I'm looking for the queen, but she probably won't be on this frame anyway. But Get some of this mess out of the way. And this queen's not marked. She's from last year, but she's not marked. I haven't done much marking, so I was kind of afraid to put her through that. All right, put the sun to my back here. <clears throat> Hard to tell, they're eggs, definitely larvae. couple frames in here that have a large proportion of drone comb, drone cells on them, so I'll move those to the top. I'm 
Okay, I'm going to have to take some time to look in here. It's got a big section here. Sorry, I'm looking for eggs. And I'm not seeing any yet. Oh, there's a very, very young larva there. Several. Just looking to see if I have any queen cells, and I don't see any. <coughs> One more time for the queen on here. She's a really pretty Italian queen. girls okay man bunch of drones on there To worker sales, I mean, cat sales. Young larva. Well, oh, bees festooning on the bottom here. <clears throat> A lot of foragers returning won't know what they're supposed to do. A lot of drones. Very young larva. Oh, there's some eggs. Laying down eggs, so they're a day or two old. There are actually some eggs in this. Well, I guess that might be. Well, that's drone size cells over there, too. She's got some eggs in them. Really would like to see her. It's been several inspections since I saw her. some eggs around the edge there.
Yep, this is all brood. There's some drone size cells and some worker size cells. I don't know if that girl just got me in the back of the hand or she just got tangled in the hair. Having trouble seeing if there's any eggs. Oh yeah. There's some eggs in these empty spots. Oh yeah, all that open area there has eggs in it. So that's excellent. <clears throat> and I want to see this plastic frame, see what they're doing with it. Oh yeah. Well, I hate it. They're drawing that whole frame. They're drawing as drone size cells. move that up to the top definitely yeah I'll get me some foundation bees on this plastic frame here and it's heavy too think with this new calm queen might be over here oh they're putting nectar in that I'm gonna move that a little bit closer we do still have some cold weather coming but it's going to be fewer and far between now and not quite as harsh
Nope, I'm about to screw up. That has all worker size sails. There were some that were almost all. getting tired of me. Let's see. All right, that one's mostly worker size. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think that girl got me just out of spite. See all the bees over here coming from that frame that I left on this side. They get tired of waiting on me to put it back in. Maybe they'll move over to that and start growing it too. All right, is everybody back in? Yeah.
see these girls. Even though they were the ones that were gone, they're trying to get everybody else to come back to. They didn't know they were lost and everybody else is okay. See if I see one with the Nazanoff gland showing, but I don't. Oh, maybe right there. Y'all back home now. <clears throat> I got this idea for putting this little cage on here to put the sugar on from Sam at South Carolina Happy Bees. That's what he feeds most of his bees. And I tried it and I was really impressed how well that works. I've been doing the mountain camp meeting style where you just dump the sugar on top of a piece of newspaper. And of course, if you do that, there's no way to get it off easily. But this I really like. I don't like giving them way too much paper because they end up having to carry that out. And, oh, I'm going to turn that one sideways. I've got another one here. It's the crumbs from all the others I put together. And I think I'm going to see. I don't know if they'll go after it like this or not, but I'm going to see. Maybe I can turn this, but I got to get some. There we go. Get some pollen patty on there. really been eating this. It's a little bit bigger than what I gave them last time. I don't like giving them too much, but they are really eating it. I guess they need it. This has been in the refrigerator since last fall when I was feeding them last fall to build them up. Then so I figured I'd, I got to use it anyway. Don't let it go to waste. It's still good. Uh oh, is that gonna? Let me see if that's gonna fit. I may not be able to do that. Nope, I don't think so. I'll just moisten that down and stick it together for next time. We're supposed to be coming up on some rainy weather. Of course, say that we've. Yesterday was pretty, but the two days before that were raining. I got five inches in one of my buckets uh, over the two days. So we've had some rain. It was soggy out here. These were really fine. some other boxes here that are empty but I have them set up just for swan traps just in case another high or something else tries to move in and I've seen things looking but I don't know if it's these bees hunt, uh, uh, 
looking to rob or what, but hasn't been real a lot of activity. But anyway, I think that's it for today. I don't, I'm probably blinding you there. Now, I appreciate you watching. I, everybody, I appreciate all the likes and the, the subscribing. I really appreciate that. So I'll see y'all next week, maybe.